enjoy yourself. The summer is hot. Relax. Take your top off and go down a water slide. Hey, this is Ariel, and I'm here to say, free the nipples, my ladies. Calypso Water Parks in Quebec and Ontario have finally changed their dress code rules and have now allowed women to go topless at their locations. The dress code was updated following the out-of-court settlement stemming from a complaint filed with the Human Rights Tribunal of Ontario in 2017. The complaint targeted the city of Cornwall, Ontario over its policy of not allowing women to go topless at municipal pools more than two decades after it became legal for women to bear their breasts in public in the province. How I feel about women being topless in public spaces is uh, it's hot out here in Montreal. People need to do what they need to do to be comfortable and uh, I think we have enough problems instead of inventing new ones. Society has different ideas and we've put our own repressions on the female body. In the past few years, organizations like Free the Nipple and Top Freedom have popped up aimed at changing laws in areas where men are allowed to be topless but women aren't. They are focused on equality, empowerment and freedom of all human beings and their chests normalizing nudity rather than sexualizing it. The difference between a woman being topless and a man being topless, I, personally I don't think there should be a difference. There is right now. It's a cultural thing. There's a lot of places where women are just free to be topless if they want to. I met up with local burlesque dancer and women's rights activist Shana Hall to talk more about female nudity in Canadian society and this is what she had to say. In regards to women being topless in public spaces, I'd, I believe that we certainly have the right to do so, especially legally we have the right to do so. Women have the right to be topless as much as men do. But when you have a private company or a private establishment like a bar or a public park, or uh, in this case, Calypso. They can choose whom to refuse service to or not. No shoes, no shirt, no service. You see it on uh, Depener windows. You see it on a lot of places. But for a lot of people, they have sort of a, a moral issue between seeing women with naked breasts, and they associate it with sexuality, and they associate it with um, nudity. But in terms of the male gaze and women being perceived as sexual objects as opposed to we have bodies that function and our breasts are functioning parts of our bodies. The difference that I find is that if a woman is breastfeeding in public or if a woman is just exposing herself uh, because it's hot and <laughs> the other men are doing it as well, I don't think that there is issue with that. I'm interested in seeing what your opinion is on women being topless in Canada, not just in water parks, but in public spaces. Let us know in the comments below. I'm Ariel reporting for MTL Blog. Thanks for watching.